Mammoth Mine Disaster January 27th, 1891 Mount Pleasant, Pennsylvania The Mammoth Mines weren't working at more than 60% during the first month of 1891. The men walked past the boiler room that powered the fans ventilating the mine and pumping the water out from down below. But a little after 9 a.m., a blast that sent a thick cloud of smoke hurtling from the ventilator left little doubt that this was a calamity. An unseen cloud of methane ventured into the mine, and it is likely that a miner's lamp sent a hundred nine men and boys to their deaths. General Manager Lynch and Chief Engineer Paddock took boards down into the mine when it was certain it was reasonably safe to do so. They and other company men from the H.C. Frick mines placed often burned bodies onto the boards to carry them out. It is said that body parts blew out of the mine and were scattered over 60 acres. Sadly, the men and boys who died that day were foreigners from Eastern Europe. Their remains were taken to St. John's Cemetery, not far from Dawson, Pennsylvania, and thrown into a common grave, where they laid for a hundred nine years, without so much as a marker to note their final resting place. Mine owner H.C. Freck, a millionaire by the age of thirty, heard much groanings of the unsafe conditions of both mines and coke ovens, and sent his goons to quell the rebellion and strikers. Nine other miners were gunned down on April 2, 1891, and no one was ever questioned about the killings. Seven of the nine men were thrown into a common grave with the others who died on January 27th. After about a year, Frick opened the mine once again. But thankfully, state legislators were beginning to get the idea about mine safety. The huge black pile that you see in the image is the leftovers or tailings of the mammoth mine. You can also see it near the top left of the Google satellite image, with the mine opening near the bottom right, and a pristine farm in between. But is that where this story ends? Hardly. With an RT EVP recorder in hand, I headed to the mine. And scarcely after leaving the car, a tiny voice replies. This is the most recent monument to the Mammoth Mine disaster. Heroes of the Industrial Revolution, gone, 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 gone but, but never, never forgotten. forgotten.